Previously, I did a video on sale types, walking you through all the different sales you might find on the sailboat. But I'm very interested to learn what the different sailboats actually are, what the types are and how you call them. For example, do you know what this boat is called? If you, if you know, bravo! And also this video is probably not for you. If you don't know, shame on you, no. <laughs> nobody, nobody knows what this boat type is. But So if you don't know and you want to know, this video is definitely for you. Because in this video I'll explain the most common rig types and how you can recognize nearly every boat quickly. So this video will allow you to just point your finger at a boat and say this is a Gavrick sloop or something like that. This is part two of my series on sails and sail rig types. Um, I'll link to part one in the description below. If you haven't seen it, stop this video now and go check it out because it gives you some essential information about the different sails. But a quick recap, most boats have a, a, a main sail, a head sail and some sort of specialty sails. The larger the boat, the more masts there are on the boat, the more main sails and head sails or stay sails, they're actually called stay sails, can be put on the boat. So let's begin and dive right in. So we're talking about sail rig. This example is a gaff rigged sloop and I'll explain to you what it means in a bit. But first of all, what is what is sail rig or sail rigging? A sail rig is the way in which the sails are attached to the mast or the masts. In other words, it's the setup or configuration of the sailboat, right? The rig consists of the sail and mast ha hardware. The sail rig and sail type are both part of the sail plan and we usually use the sail rig type to refer to the type of boat. So when we say this is a gaff rigged sloop, that's the kind of boat it is. And it tells you something about how the sails are attached, uh, what the shape of the main sail is, and the amount of sails and masts it has. So a quick recap, I've al already told you this in the previous video, but what does a sail plan consist of? It's the mast configuration, which is the number of masts and where they are placed, are they in front or in the center or uh, behind the rudder, for example. The sail type, so what are the sail shapes and what, what are their functionalities. And the rig type, which is the way the sails are set up on your boat. The most common sail configuration is the Bermuda sloop, which you see on the right. And I guess it, it looks familiar to you. It has one mast with two sails, a main sail and a head sail. And for the head sail, that's the front sail, uh, mostly, there's mostly a, a jib used. So how do you actually recognize the sail plan uh, that is used? Well, there are three steps. First, step number one, you check the number of masts and the way they are set up. So this one has one mast and that immediately limits the number of boat types we, we might deal with. Uh, with. Actually, the boat types with one mast, I'll, I'll explain them a bit later on, are the cat, the sloop and the cutter. So there's only three choices now left, right? Then we look at the shape and number of sails. So this one has two sails and immediately right off the bat I know this is a sloop. And then I look at the shape of the main sail, which is triangular, so it's a Bermuda sloop. Bam, I've pinpointed the boat type. Uh, and the shape of the sail is the other brick type, the way the sail is attached to the mast. So there are two ways uh, to set up the sails, roughly speaking, right? So you can uh, attach your sail side to side, on your mast, which is square rigged, which is the left green uh, goblin uh, ship you see here. And you can rig the sails fore and aft. 
which is which means from front to back. And in my previous video, I have to correct a, an error I made. I, I I guess I called it front and aft. I wasn't that precise or sharp that uh, particular afternoon, I guess. But it's actually fore and aft. And fore just means front and aft just means back or rear. So the square rig is, r is roughly always the same. But the fore and aft rig has uh, a couple of variations. And the most common types are these three. The Latin rig, the Gaff rig and the Bermuda rig. The Bermuda uh, has a three-sided mainsail or triangular sail. The Gaff rig has four-sided mainsail uh, with a pole at the head, which is called the Gaff. Uh -huh. And the Latin rig, which is a three-sided mainsail on a long yard with no foot uh, beam. So uh, it uses just uh, a line to, uh, uh, to hold the sail in place. And there are a couple of other rigs, but they're not really worth mentioning here. Uh, I do go over them in my post, so if you want to check them out, go to uh, improvesailing.com forward slash rig. Um, I, I want to mention one, and that's the junk rig. Uh, this is the the Chinese sail, right? So these have uh, a lot of horizontal buttons in the sail, uh, which are used to control the sail. All right. So let's kick off with the one mastered rigs. As I said earlier, there are roughly only three uh, boat types here. It's the cat, the sloop, and the cutter. And so these are easy, right? It's just a, a matter of how many sails are on the single mast. And with one sail it's always a cat. With the second sail it's always a sloop. With three or more sails it's always a cutter. But then there's this other word, Bermuda or Gaff. And that's, ju that's just the, the shape of the mainsail, the way it's set up on the mast. So we first look at the shape of the sail. Is it triangular? It's a Bermuda. It only has one sail. It's a cat. It has a triangular mainsail, but it has two sails, it's a Bermuda sloop, and so on. So that's how you define uh, the rig type of a boat. So now it gets interesting, because now we're going to look at two masted rigs. And to understand the two masted rigs, or three masted rigs, we have to take a look at the mast names. So. The crazy thing about an extra mast, putting on an extra mast, is you have to decide where to put it, right? So you have the main mast, as always, in the center, somewhere around the center. And then you have the option to put an extra mast in front or behind the main mast. And this actually means a lot to the type of boat we're dealing with. So the three mast names are foremast, main mast, and midzen mast. And I don't know why it's called a Mitzenmast. My guess is, I'm from the Netherlands, and my guess is it's, it's a German or Dutch word uh, originally, I guess. is my guess, but I have no idea, actually. So, all right, quick, quick tip. Why would you want more masts and sails anyways? Well, the answer is quite, quite logical. Uh, more masts and sails mean less stress on the same sail area. So you get this roughly the same amount of sail area and the, the same amount of forward drive. But the masts uh, can be a, lit, uh, a little shorter and the sails are subdivided more, right? So they are smaller, which means there's less stress on the masts and the, the rigging, uh, less wear and tear. They're easier to sail, and there's also less risk of capsizing, which is a, a, a big advantage. So let's take a look at the two mastered rigs, and they're quite a lot. We've got the, the yawl, the catch, the schooner, or schooner, I'm not sure how you pronounce it in, in uh, English, but in Dutch it's called uh, a schooner, and the brig. And there's, so, there's a couple of more, there's the lugger, um, uh, the Belander, but I'll, I'll leave, they're outside the scope of this video, so I'll leave them uh, uh, for what they are right now and just focus on these four. 
So right off the bat we can see all of these have obviously two masts and then there are two groups to, to subdivide. We've got the first two on the left, the yaw and the catch, which have a midden mast and the second two, the schooner and the brig, have a fore mast. How do we know th this? Well, the main mast is always the tallest. So you just look for the tallest uh, mast on the ship. Is it in front? Like with the yaw, obviously. Well, then the uh, boat has a midden mast, uh, which means the extra mast is put on the aft of the ship or at the rear. Other way around, if the ship has a fore mast, meaning the smaller mast is in front of the main mast, it's always a schooner or a brick or some variation on these two. Cool. Let's take a look at the second uh, thing that defines, uh, defines the, the type of boat we're dealing with. The yawl, the midden mast, doesn't carry a mainsail and the catch midden mast does. You also see that the midden mast is placed uh, in front of the rudder on the catch and it's behind the rudder on the yaw. So the function of the midden mast is actually very different on these two boats. So with the yaw it's just uh, to provide extra helm balance and um, on the catch it also provides extra drive. So it actually propels the boat forward and you don't need to use the mainsail to uh, sail the boat. With the yawl uh, and the catch, they both have one big advantage. The extra uh, rear sail, the midden sail, helps to uh, push the bow of the, sh of the boat into the wind, which is great when you're at anchor, for example, right? So then let's take a look at the schooner and the brig. So these are uh, both carrying mainsails on both masts. Uh, they have a foremast instead of a midsen mast. And most schooners are gaff rigged. And most catches and yawls are also gaff rigged. So what, what's the difference between the schooner and the brig? Well, a brig is partially or wholly square rigged. So the brig always at least has the foremast square rigged. And the top sails on the main mast are mostly also square rigged and sometimes they use uh, a gaff rigged mainsail um, and some, sometimes it's a square rigged sail and sometimes they carry both even. But it's all, always partially square rigged whereas the schooner, the catch and the all are, are uh, typically gaff rigged. Alright, let's take a look at the three masted rigs. And I only uh, uh, go over the two most well-known, which are the bark and the fully rigged ship, or the tall ship. And um, there are a couple of others, uh, but these are mostly variations on the bark and the fully rigged ship. Um, the bark has three or more masts, uh, and they are always, um, the fore and the main mast are always square rigged. And the midden mast, or the, the rear mast, is a mostly fore and aft rigged. So this, this time it's a gaff rig, but it can be something else, but it's always fore and aft. Uh, usually gaff rigged. And all masts uh, carry a mainsail, as you can see. And the, the, this bark has three staysails or headsails. Um, and headsails can also uh, be used on the other masts, uh, if the sailor or the sail plan um, allows for it. The fully rigged ship is the classical tall ship. And what, what makes a fully rigged ship a fully rigged ship? Practically all of the sails have to be square rigged. So there's a small exception to the rule. The fully rigged ship can carry a latine, uh, or a, sorry, a a gaff rigged mainsail on the midsen mast, but all the other mainsails uh, have to be square rigged, and this one also carries a square rigged mainsail uh, besides the gaff rigged sail. The advantage of the gaff rigged sail 
is that it, it and, and the head sales as well, the stay sales, is that it provides a, a bit better performance uh, on an upwind tag. Uh, and square rigged sales are notorious for not not very they're not good at at sailing close to the to the wind or in upwind tags at all. So you need uh, the wind to blow in the right direction to start with to sail this boat. Um, so they're all square rigged. Sometimes uh, a, uh, a latine mainsail, and they're very good downwind to to summarize. Uh, the bark has a bit uh, more abilities for upwind tacks, but is on the whole slower and doesn't handle as, as well. So, these are, roughly speaking, the rig types. Now it's time to test your knowledge. And for this I have some uh, examples, uh, some pictures I took off the internet. And I'll, I'll just show them to you and it's up to you to decide uh, what type of boat we're dealing with and then I'll of course reveal to you what it actually is and how I know. So the first one is this beautiful white boat. What are we dealing with here? It's actually a schooner with a gaff rig. How do I know? It's two masted so that narrows it down. It has a four mast so the front mast is, is shorter than the main mast, the, the rear mast, uh, which means that's the main mast. They both carry a mainsail, um, and they, uh, it carries two head sails. So it's a schooner because of the foremast, both gaff rigged, both mainsails. The next one. What's this ship? So this is actually an easy one. This is a tall ship, obviously. So it's this one has four masts actually, but it the three masts, the three main masts, are all square rigged. It carries a lot of uh, stay sails, as you can see, four in the front, and the f the fourth mast is uh, a, a gaff rigged with a split topsail, and the ship in the in the back is also a tall ship. So these are very majestic ships and they're very cool to see. And actually, uh, we have the tall ship races uh, near my hometown in Harlingen. We uh, host them every four years and we had the tall ship races uh, this uh, last year in 2018. And it's magnificent to see there's these huge, gigantic ships uh, racing uh, in a competition with international crews and, and lots of, hundreds of international sailors. It's, it's very spectacular. So the next one, what's this? This is a cutter and uh, you can see because it ha only has one mast, obviously, and it ha has three or more sails, to be very precise. It, have, it has four, uh, gaff rigged uh, mainsail, with a, a gaffric top sail, uh, with a very small gaff in the in the top, at the top, and two stay sails. And these ships are or boats are very good for uh, um, single-handedly uh, crossing oceans. Uh, they're good in light airs because of the larger sail area. All right, what's this boat? And this is a very cool one. This is a replica, actually. It's a brig. Or it's actually a brigantine, a small brig, uh, with a gaff-rigged mainsail. You can see it has two masts with a foremast, uh, both carrying mainsails. The foremast is square-rigged, so the mainmast carries a gaff-rigged mainsail. It's a very spectacular uh, boat, if you ask me. It looks very good. Only two left. What's this boat? So here's a hint. It has a mizzenmast and it doesn't carry a mainsail, which makes it a yawl. So this yawl, it, it sails a spinnaker, which makes it uh, a bit harder to see, but it's, it, it has two masts with a Bermuda rig a mainsail 
and uh, uh, a Bermuda midsen sail as well, with a stay sail on it as well. So it carries a lot of sails here. It's a very gorgeous picture, and I see for the first time now that the crew, the shirts of the crew, is the same color as the spinnaker, <laughs> which is yeah. They they look after the details. That's cool. So the last, and this is a true. Yeah, this is a very this is a challenge. What what the hell is this? So this is where we started with, I guess. And if you now know what this is, I applaud you. I had to look it up. It has four masts, so that's confusing. But it's also Bermuda rigged, right? So what 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 do you make of it? And if you said it's a four-masted Bermuda rig schooner or schooner, then I applaud you very much. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe uh, to the channel. And if you want to know more about rig types, please go to improvesailing.com forward slash rigs and you'll find a great infographic with the illustrations I used in this video as well. And uh, more uh, examples with pictures of the different boat types. Um, and you'll also find part one of this series on sail types. So be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching, and as always, safe sailing.